Habitats by Mrs. Muller, presented by Mrs. Wilde. Today you're going to learn about habitats, organisms, what they need, communities, and niches. Who lives at this address? What types of animals live in trees? What animals might live on the leaves? What animals might live in the soil underneath the tree? What might live in the whole of this tree? Trees grow in many different places such as cities, urban, towns and villages and rural areas. These bees have made their home in a hole in this tree. This is their address. That's their habitat. What animal might make a nest in a tree? An interesting crow has collected some unusual nesting material in what looks like some pieces of lightweight plastic garden border. Each habitat provides the basic need for an animal. If one of these resources disappear, animals must move or adapt by other, using other resources. If they cannot move to a new place, the animal may die. What animals might live on a tree? There are many plants and animals that will share the same habitat. Lots of animals find places to live in trees. These animals live together to form a community. A habitat is a place where an organism lives, its address in nature. There are lots of different types of habitats on Earth. Habitat examples could include lakes, streams, forests, or even a drop of water. Organisms can be an animal or a plant. It's a creature. Organisms need water. That's fresh water, ponds, and streams. Organisms need a home, a, their shelter, and a place to raise their babies. Organisms need food. Food comes in all forms, not just spaghetti. That's what we eat. Organisms need air, and not just air to breathe, because the plants provide carbon dioxide for us to breathe. Different animals need different habitats. A fish, for example, needs water to live in. A grasshopper needs a big space where it can hop and eat leaves. There are lots of different kinds of habitats on Earth. 80% of animals live in forest and trees. Animals require different amounts of space. Habitats can be a big ocean, or a lake, or small like a burrow. Here, you can tell the animal habitat compared to your home. What is the same about these two? There are many plants and animals that will share the same habitat. The animals and plants that live together in a habitat form a community. The community of living things interacts with the non-living world around it to form an ecosystem. These ladybugs lay their larvae on the leaves. Guess what they eat? Leaves. Their basic needs for survival are being met. Because resources like water and food may be limited, plant and animal species often compete with each other for water and food. The only way they all can live together is they can occupy slightly different niches or hold different jobs in the community. Here you'll see the ants working together to form their job. No two species can occupy exactly the same niches. They have their own jobs or niche in the community. A niche is a space within the habitat where the animal or plant lives. It's the smallest unit of ha the habitat that's occupied by a plant or animal. Do you think these ants' basic needs of food, water, oxygen, and shelter are being met? It looks like these ants are thriving. Let's recap. A habitat is a place where an animal or, or plant lives. Then you'll have the organism. An organism is a plant or animal. A community, it's a place where it's an address. And let's not forget the niche, which is a small part of the community. Thank you, and I really enjoyed showing you all about habitat.